pra cá. É Gana. A King Sam. And Queen Johnny Mina. We're very, very sad. Because a Nazi had come and sat on their Ashanti stool. And in the account tradition, the school indicates clan leadership. And the golden school became the symbol that united all of the Ashanti people of Ghana. Ashanti schools are spiritual as well as practical. And they are understood to be the seat of the owner's soul. So when they're not in use, they are leaned against a wall so that other souls passing by, their souls don't settle into the school. So as you might understand, King Sam and Queen Johnny Lena were very upset. And a, a Nazi felt really sad for his behavior. So he asked his friends to help him make the king and the queen happy again. And many people came to give them happiness. But were the king and queen happy? Let me see. Let me see their unhappy faces. Okay. But Anansi, being the trickster that he was, was also someone who persevered. And so he was committed to making the king and queen happy again. So he took to the palace with him all of his friends, carrying gifts and knowledge of God. The first gift came from a villager who made the best shade butter, Sean. And he presented to the king and the queen the rich shea butter of Ghana that moisturizes skin and hair and protects you from the sun. Then there was Jabezi, who had the best tools to make fufu. And Jabezi brought his bowl and spoon to make the best fufu in Ghana to the king and the queen. And after these gifts were presented to the king and the queen, the king and the queen and, and the villagers were still very unhappy. Can you see your unhappy faces? <laughs>
who was known for weaving the most beautiful kente in Ghana, brought kente cloth for the king and the queen. Of Ghana. Uh, 
they have a beautiful flag. Uh, they also speak another language besides English, which is what we spoke to you first. What is the name of that language? It looks like that thing outside our window in the classroom. The tree language, that's right, tree. And for the flag, we have the colors of red, we have yellow, black, and we have green. What does the red stand for in the flag?
dancers, uh, we learned some geographical facts and cultural facts, as well as linguistics. So they're going to show you that today. Okay, so my first question is for Leah. Okay, Leah, what type of climate do you want to find this on? Awesome, and what animals might you see there?
His name is River Drake. The fourth son is named Game Skinner because he's an amazing hunter. And the fifth son is nicknamed Stone Thrower because he can pick up a stone from the ground and throw it so far straight that you won't be able to see it anymore. But last, and no by, by no means least, is a Nazi's sixth son, Cushion. And he's not called that just because he's good to sit on, but because he's a little bit big and also very round. So, a Nazi and his six sons live together in the house, in the forest, and usually get along very well. But then one day, the Nazi told his six sons he was going out for a walk. Boys, I'm going out for a walk. Don't be long. A few hours later, the boys realized Anansi wasn't back there, and they began to worry. Then suddenly, Siege Trouble sees something in the distance. Oh no, I can see Dad, and I think he's in trouble. So they, they all agree they must go and help their dad. Luckily for them, Road Builder built a road very quickly, and before they knew it, they were on their way. They had been walking for about a half an hour when they reached the river and see some see trouble said stop. See trouble said stop. <laughs> I think this is where Dad is. Rogue never asked, are you sure? Are you sure? But before he could finish his sentence, a massive fish jumped out, opened his mouth, and inside was a Nazi. <laughs> help my boy, help, he shouted. Help my boy, help. <laughs> Dad, shouted the boys. But before they could do anything, the fish dived into the water and was gone. I know what to do, shouted River Drinker, suddenly out of my way, brothers. He ran forward and drank all the water from the river because, after all, his name was River Drinker. <laughs> well done, shouted the boys. But now the fish was lying in the water. By now the fish was lying in the water with, with no water to hide in. The trouble was a Nazi was still in the fish's stomach. Suddenly, Game Skinner stepped forward and shouted, Boo! at the fish. <laughs> what are you doing, Axe the Brothers? What are you doing? I'm carrying a fish so that you can get out. <laughs> Boo! Boo! shouted Game Skinner again. And sure enough, did the, burp do a, did the fish do a big burp? <clears throat> That's perfect. That's what I would give to my boys. 
but he only he had six sons and there was only one light. So what should he do? Well, he decided to leave the light in the sky for his six sons and him and all of us to see. And that light is what we call today the moon. Thank you.
can't do.
power. We will take you to your little country and keep on doing business with us. But Kwame Nkrumah of the Big Six rose up and said, No way, no way, no way. This is colonization all over again. Africans for Africa. That's right, Africans for Africa. And so it was. At 12 noon on March 6, 1957, Kwame Nkrumah declared Ghana as independent. The country became known as the Commonwealth realm. And he was hailed as the Osa Kefe, which means the Redeemer in the Akan language. Did you know this? Yes, so this is why we have this flag. Do you know what the red stands for? What does the red stand for? The gold. And what about the yellow? The gold. And the green? The land. And this, my friend, this, my friend, is what it means to be from Ghana. On the black star, what does the black stand for? For the people. Yes. Okay, and this is what it means. Okay, I don't know what this is black star. Okay, yes.
weeks and things before, and now they're going to tell you their name.